I've just got back from uh, a holiday which I had in Northern Ireland, and while I was out there, I was very much on holiday. I ate crisps. Actually, no, did I? Yes, I did. Yeah. Cheesy sticks, loads of dips, chocolate, pizzas, big pizzas, curries. Oh, I, I, I just, I just ate. Oh, a big fry up, an, a Northern Irish fry, uh, for breakfast. Oh, oh, so good, but so bad. Um, and anyway, I, I just ate so much, and I reckon each day, if my amount of calories I'm meant to have is about 1800 I easily doubled that each day uh, in terms of the amount of fat and just bleh, that I ate. So uh, now that I'm back uh, I'm able to get back on the diet, have the food which I like inside the house so it's like my instead of whole milk I can have my almond milk which has like bugger all calories compared to normal milk. Um, instead, of, instead of sugar, I can put stevia. So, woohoo, saving calories. Anyway, so today what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a two-day semi-fast. 40-hour semi-fast. So, the last time I ate was yesterday's meal, which was a big salmon and chorizo stew with extra bread and butter and, oh, and everything on it. It was great. Um, so... Yeah, so the last time I ate was yesterday at about 6 o'clock. So let's say I started fasting from 8 yesterday. This morning, it's uh, 7 o'clock in the morning. So cool, I'm 12 hours in. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a semi-fast. So what I'm going to do is meaning I'm going to have some stuff to eat. and so Well, some stuff to drink. Trying to not go over 600 calories a day. So first thing that I'm going to have is some coffee. Uh, with some stevia. Let me show you. Okay, to start off, to start off today, I'm having 300 mils of coffee there. Uh, in that, I'm going to have a full heaped teaspoon of stevia. Now, stevia uh, calorie content zero calories for a hundred grams. So this doesn't have any calories in it, even though it's just like sugar. It's just like magic. Uh, and then for the milk, which we're going to have, I'm having Almond Breeze. This is like the unsweetened or unsweetened version. And so per 100 mils, it's 14 calories. So I'm going to have 200 mils of this in with my coffee. So now that, I've already had a pint of water this morning, so that's a good 500 mils of coffee which I'm going to be having this morning which in total is only going to be having 14 30 calories in it uh, that's actually consumed so that's a good way to get me started before the gym now it's just about to I'm just about to head off to the gym now so what I'm going to do is I'm having my pre-workout drink uh, which is about 200 mils of water and then one scoop of this stuff extend intro workout catalyst it's just a bunch of amino acids effectively in there uh, i'll have a green tea pill as well i have my alpha man which is a uh, multivitamin and uh think, think oh and I'll, I'll stick in a scoop of jack 3d as well and uh, that'll be my pre-workout supplement so in total there the only calories really are from uh, the amino acids, so that only works out, what was that, about 10 grams in there? Not very much. And then lastly, before I leave the gym, I'm going to make my post-gym drink. Uh, so again, about another 200, 300 mils of water. This time, I'm sticking in three teaspoons of chia seeds. It normally says use tablespoons. However, I can never really measure it on a tablespoon. So I use three of these, and that's about one tablespoon. That works out around about 50 calories, although it's just fat, uh, like good fat uh, and fiber. And then I'll also have one more of this extend so that I'm not burning up any of my muscles. Uh, so that is for my post-workout uh, supplement. And then, first thing in the morning, before I go to work, I'm going to be in the gym 
doing some high intensity cardio. And when I say high intensity, that means a heart rate above 140, below 171. That's the kind of 60 to 80% maximum heart rate for me. Um, and as you can see, just done 500 calories faster than 30 minutes. So over 100 calories every six minutes, or 100 calories every five minutes, 48 seconds or something like that. So yeah, works out around about 17, 18 calories a minute. I've got it on the maximum resistance, as you can see. I'm doing that for about half an hour. I'm going to keep on doing it for 40 minutes in total. That's a good way to keep the hurry up, burn lots of calories, and the high intensity is good to keep your metabolism high. Um, after this, I'll do a little couple bits of weights just to wake my muscles up. So heart rate there, 169. One thing I would say is that the cross trainer, this thing, or the elliptical adaptive motion trainer, is a great way to burn calories and get your heart rate high. But pretty much has absolutely no crossover benefits, as in doing a lot of calories on this won't make you a faster runner, won't make you a faster rower, won't help you really on anything. It's just a good way of exercising the heart and burning calories. That's really all that is. Uh, nothing more than that. Cool, gonna finish it there. It's just about turned half past eight. Done 41 minutes and 700 calories on this. Also did a couple hundred on the rowing machine beforehand. But yeah, good way to start the fast. Okay, two o'clock now, I've just had a protein drink which had two scoops of protein and two heaped teaspoons of chia, ground up chia seeds, so really quite thick and stodgy stuff. Uh, a coffee and a green tea, so that's what I've had so far. Uh, I really want to go get myself an apple and a banana. I might skip the banana, maybe just have an apple. Um, but I just feel I need a little bit of fruit in me, that'd be good. Okay, it's now half past eight, it's uh, it's getting on now. I've just been working on doing videos and setting up my camera and getting lights and all that kind of stuff. So I've been pretty busy this evening. Uh, when I came home, I had an apple. Yes, I've had one apple and one kiwi today as my fruit. Um, and now I'm just about to have my dinner. And what I'm gonna have is I'm having four eggs. Now. I, uh, when people say that they have fried eggs or scrambled eggs or whatever, people always think that they do them in like piles of butter or fat or stuff like that. I don't. I just use a non-stick pan and just crack the eggs into it. I don't use butter or oil or, say, seemingly even if you use olive oil and if you cook with it, it kind of loses all its goodness. Olive oil is only really good for you if you have it raw as it were or you know as, as it comes out of the bottle not heated up to a million degrees and it's boiling because then you just break down the the i don't know it, it's not meant to be as good as just eating it raw so olive oil always pour it on the food after you've cooked it um and with the eggs non-stick pan you don't need to put butter, butter in it whatsoever so we have four eggs and one piece of bread and a whole bunch of ketchup on it so that's my carbs and my protein all sorted and that's all I'm having today. So that's so in total. Let's say each egg, it says here each egg is 88 calories. So let's say that's 300 calories. A piece of bread and there's another hundred, and the ketchup say another 50. So 400 plus what I've eaten today. I've probably had around about 800, maybe 850 calories. So a full thousand calories less than what my resting metabolic rate suggests I need. And yet I burnt a good 800 calories this morning on the running machine. So, total loss of calories today, exactly 1,800, maybe, somewhere around about there. 
day two is pretty much a complete repeat of uh, yesterday. So for breakfast, give myself a bit. I've, I've just downed uh, a good 500 mils of water. I had had this beside my bed um, filled with water. So whenever the alarm goes off, I just go chug, 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 and then that's uh, that's me got all the water that I need in me to go for the first half of the day, effectively. But then everything else I have is just to kind of get me awake. So here, uh, it's just under 300 mils. And what it is, again, it's the one scoop of stevia, two scoops of coffee, uh, and then I'm about to go put in 200 mils of almond breeze. And that's uh, my kind of morning stimulant to wake me up. To wake me up. Okay, been in the gym now for a good hour and a half uh, this morning. Uh, the first things I did were shoulders and chest, dips, shoulder press, bench press, dumbbell press, uh, dumbbell rows, a whole bunch of stuff, but pretty low weight, low intensity. It's uh, on my on the Wendler 531 program. This is my kind of rest week for those two exercises. I'm a week behind on the deadlifts and squats, so they've still got to be heavy. I never do them. Anyway, did them. Did a major sprint on the running machine, which uh, I did about 100 calories on. Just like gradient 9, speed 15, just sprinting full blast for about 100 metres. Did that a couple of times, and uh, that was about a kilometre in there. Um, now, just done about 25 minutes in this, about 400 calories. And then it's off for a shower, and it's on, but that's not a good 600 calories burnt this morning, easy. So. Almost, well, 24 minutes, 37, or 375, I'll go up to 400, call it morning. That's it, just coming up to half past two now, so I'm going to um, have my breakfast, as it were, um, but again, as I'm doing this as a, as a semi-fast, um, I'm not... Uh, try to eat too much. So this morning I burnt around about 550, maybe 600 calories. So I'm trying to make sure that my bre my breakfast, my breakfast lunch, late lunch, half past two, um, doesn't go over the amount of calories which I burnt this morning. So in here, it was a little bit more than one scoop of my protein, protein, chocolate flavor, mm, um, and a, a bit of unsweetened almond milk. Total of that is about 150 calories. Also gave myself a nice bunch of fruit, lots of colours in that, that's good. Uh, this is a huge packet, but yet even in the whole packet, it's 65 calories. 65 to, no, it's two 65s, so 130 calories in that. And then I'm also having myself a kind of rainbow vegetable salad, which has got kind of carrots, beans, nuts, peas, stuff like that in it. And that one calculated this one is 210 calories so 210 100 and something anyway comes up to around about 500 calories uh, for for that and um, which isn't actually too bad because it's quite a lot of food in fact it is uh, 375, uh, 475, about 600, and 600 grams of food and then uh, 500 mils of watery stuff. So that's a pretty good way to stodge myself up and it's not a huge amount of calories. Okay, so it's the morning of the start of day three of a, of a long fast. Although I'm not going to be fasting today, I'm... I'm, I'm well, I'll see. Um, I woke up at five this morning, uh, a good hour before my alarm clock wakes, uh, goes off. And uh, I woke up, sat there, I thought I could just snuggle in bed for a little bit longer. But then, then I thought, actually, no, because I'm now not tired. It's really weird. It's like I've, like when I'm going to bed at 10 or whenever, I'm tired, but I'm not knackered. And then when I'm waking up, I'm waking up like, ping, awake. Time to get up and do stuff. Um, yeah, so, so I, th I definitely think a, a real reduction in calories really just wakes up your body. Uh, wakes up your body to the processes it's meant to have. You know, it's meant to be tired at night time. It's meant to be awake in the morning or something like that. And I'm, not, I'm, I'm still not 100% sure about 
anything really. Um, but yeah, it, it's why lie in bed if if you're awake and you're ready to go and attack the day. Uh, so yeah, I've, I've just had um, this is for my post workout supplement, which is again the Extend. Uh, and which is the amino acids and a whole bunch of chia seeds uh, in there and um, for my pre-workout uh, actually I'm going to show that in another video because I'm about to throw one of my pre-workouts straight down the bin because it's absolute rubbish destroyed my maximum heart rate. Max heart rate 196. Uh, up there. 196. Okay, time for the win. Nice. <laughs> More than five kilograms. Okay, weight has dropped to 78.9, BMI 24.1, body fat down from 16 down to 15.3, muscle up to 42, resting metabolic rate 1764, fat 6.